Hello, it's Barry here. Excuse me, one of the birdies. Uh, hello, it's Barry here from Barry's Views, and welcome to another one of my vlog downs. Now, if you've never seen any of my vlog downs, what is this all about? You ask yourself. Well, it's basically. I'll tell you what I did today. Just while the the world, should we say, I'm gonna say the UK, the world is in lockdown because it's COVID-19 uh, virus that's going around, unfortunately. So I do my little bit just to say, this is what's happening, blah, 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 this is what I've done, and all that stuff as well. And as I say, if you want to, just con please continue watching. And also, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so you don't miss any of my videos that I put up here on this channel. And also check out my jokes of the day. I do a joke a day just to help lift that spirit up and they are bad so go and check them out it's on the playlist go and check them out so what's been happening today well it's been announced from the uk government that there every member of every household will be getting a letter saying that they will be i don't know telling them what to do or what to stay in all that stuff as well so i keep looking because there's animals around me at the moment got the cats and dogs out at the moment uh, so they're basically telling them what's going to be happening um with the virus to stay indoors when they're gonna see it clear up should we say but me personally well right we, we i'm in the second week this is my second week of me personally being in isolation because i've got this copd and uh yeah basically um they are, i'm a on the at risk register not register that sounds wrong at risk, at risk person who's got this illness and i've got more susceptible of catching this coronavirus night coronavirus uh yeah so i've got more sex doing it so they told me i've got staying for 12 weeks um go out every so often just do a bit of exercise come in the garden that sort of thing so far i'm sticking to that plan i have been out for to the shops just to get some milk that sort of thing i went to the cash point and she checked the machine today the atm and it was a big queue. No matter where you went, shoot, 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 big queues anywhere. It reminded me of the 1980s Russia. You know when you see, remember when you saw the 1980s Soviet Union when they used to queue up for a potato and that sort of thing. That's what it reminds me of. But there you go. But as I was saying, yeah, this uh, letter's coming round is uh, basically saying what we're supposed to be doing, um, staying in, going out, what we're doing, um, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, so this is, I think this is the first. We're up to the week seven of actually the UK being in lockdown. So they said another two weeks ago, they said three weeks, and they'll look at it and see how it goes. But me personally thinking, um, what well, they've also said, that they're going to be doing other things as well to look at it, see how the it's been peaking and that sort of thing. And they reckon it could be six months, not locked in, before we can do all this social, um, what they call it, social distancing uh, again. And uh, how do I feel about that? I'm not too bothered about it, to be honest with you. Because it's weird when you're walking down the street. The first time you go out the street with this social distancing and people start moving away. You see people in their masks and, and things like that. And you see people moving away. You think, have I got the wrong aftershave on or something? Do I smell or something? It's what it feels like sometimes. I know it's not, but it's what it feels like sometimes. I think I've got the wrong aftershave on. But there you go. So, yeah, so they reckon... I know they've cancelled everything up till June, July... Like the events like Troop in the Colours being cancelled, which was the Queen's official birthday, if you remember seeing that one. Um, I think Glastonbury's been cancelled, the Olympics has been cancelled. Well, not cancelled, they've moved back a year. They're back to, it'll be happening next year, 2021, as long as everything's back to normal, obviously. And uh, things like that. So, yeah, so everyone's going to get a letter saying this is what you should be doing and things like that from the government. And, uh, yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? And I still think it's funny that Boris Johnson's come down with it. It's not funny in a way, but it, it makes me chuckle. Um, and also the health minister, he's, he's got it. And the person who's on the advert saying, you must stay indoors. He's been now just been announced that he's got it. He, last week he, he was self-isolated and staying indoors. I think he had the symptom, but now officially that he's now got it. So the bloke, if you're watching the UK and you see this, the UK um, coronavirus or coronavirus advert came around from the, from the government from the nhs they're basically it's, it's the little guy bald guy he's on there he's the one that's got it as well so it just made me chuckle a little bit but hey ho also i think normally I'm, I'm not a big fan of politics i'm not a big fan of boris but he came into power well he came up for a few months six months now we officially we officially got re-elected in december and he's since he's been back he's had to deal with brexit and deal with this 
like, take me out for the guy. He has been dealing with it well, and he's not panicked anyone like the complete lockdown. You mustn't do this. You mustn't do that. So yeah, I, I take my hat off to him. But there you go. And also now um, there's some idiots going around pretending to cough at people, thinking it's funny. And the police are getting involved, and it's basically saying, no, 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 it's not funny. We're going to put you, uh, we're going to prosecute you, put you in jail, give you a criminal record, and if, and also the kids as well are doing it, and they're prosecuting the parents. Because if everyone's been warned, do not cough in front of people, because it gives them the heebie-jeebies, should we say. So, yeah, I think that's enough of me waffling on that one. Also, don't forget to check out the old uh, Joke of the Day videos. I've been doing them as well. There's a few of them up there. There's playlists for that. There's playlists for the vlog down as well. And don't forget, if you are making a video, don't forget to put the hashtag create not hate. You and also UK Lockdown Unite as well. Go and do that as well. So I think that's enough now because it's getting a bit chilly. It's getting dark because I've got the old lights on there. So I think it's time for me to go indoors. So you all get well. Hopefully keep well. Not get well. Keep well. If you are not feeling well, get well. But if you are, keep keep well. Keep safe and well. Look after yourself, each other, your families, your friends, your neighbours. If they are, if you've got no of any people who are indoors, elderly relatives who are indoors and they've been here for a long time, give them a call. Give them a chat. Just say how they are. And also, yeah, take care of yourself. And uh, keep well. Yeah, keep. I keep saying keep well. Because I'm missing my radio thing. I keep saying at the end of my radio shows, look after yourself, get well, and I'll see you all soon. So I'm missing that because we can't even get to the hospital because obviously where our radio station was in the hospital, that's totally in lockdown now. No visitors whatsoever. So we can't even do that. So I have withdrawal symptoms. So there you go. I'm going to leave it now. So you all get well soon. I've done it again, see? You take care of yourself. Stay safe. Keep well. Keep, keep, be kind. Look after each other. Until the next video, which will hopefully be out tomorrow. Uh, yeah. See you later. Goodbye.